Hello, and welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're going to do a little exercise on testing communication ports on PLC5 processors. Now, some people may say the PLC5s are dead and gone, but there's millions of them out there in the world, so this is something you need to do to make sure that your stock is in good shape. Now, I'm using two 540B Series E processors. These processors have four communication ports on them. Port 1A is designated generally as your standard communication port. 1B is usually used as remote I.O. 2A and 2B are also configurable to either remote I.O. or data highway. They all use the same chips and the same port boards for communications regardless of whether they're doing remote I.O. or data highway communications. And they can all be configured to whatever you need to do to get your job done. So what I'm going to do and have done is set this up so that I have all four channels as data highway plus channels. Each one will be used to test the other one. I've written a little program with uh, that has simulation cards in each chassis. Turn on the switch in one, it turns on the light in the other, and back and forth. Nothing magical about it, but it proves that each communication port works. Um, two switches for each of the channels, two lights for each of the channels, that way everything is all done up in one, one quick, uh, I think it's about a 10 run program. So, what I'll do is I'll get swung around here, uh, we'll have a look at the uh, processors and the cabling, it's pretty simple, and uh, we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so here's our wide shot of what we're doing. This one is set up at station 6. This one down here is set up at station 7. Now, as you can see, I've got all four plugs in. Uh, 2A goes to 2A, 2B to 2B. 1A is my main highway, which is not a big one. And 1B, it goes to 1B. Now, they're all configured to be data highway ports. And your other communication option is your RS-232 serial port. And when a processor is new out of the box or battery is dead and or no battery in it and the memory is cleared, it defaults to 2400 kilobaud communication rate. Now I'll do a second video here uh, after I've done this one showing how to uh, connect to RS links and the processor using a serial cable and a USB to serial converter, which is, you can get them anywhere. So anyhow, um, like I say, and here's, in each chassis, I've got an eight point in and out simulation card. They're very handy test items to have. I turn the switch on here, turns the light on here. Turn it off here, turns it off there. The top two channels test this port, the next two test this port, the third one's third set test these two, and the, and the fourth. So anyhow, what this does doing this back and forth and back and forth is proves that we have two-way communication. And this is just message bits going back and forth, turning on in the logic, but it proves that the ports are good. And that way you know 100% that this processor you have sitting on your shelf has been tested and good. Put a label on it, say it's tested, when it was tested, and you're ready to go. Um, I'll just get in here a little closer. We'll just do a real fast step through the program showing you the highway bits if you haven't seen how to do highway. This is one of many ways of doing data highway communication. Um, I'll probably have to do a, a better one on it later. If uh, you want to see it, let me know in the comments. And like I say, right back. Okay, we're back. So here we are. I realized when I uh, reviewed the last section, couldn't see the lights very well in the simulation cards. Now this is called the 1771 8-point sim. It's got 
eight switches, eight lights. Really handy for testing. So when I turn on this switch here in channel in station seven, it turns on the light in station six, which you can't see. Now if I go up to station seven, turn on this, the same switch up here, turns on this light. And as I step down, you can see various lights come on and off as I turn the, the other switches. What this proves, because the way I've programmed it is two switches, two lights, one channel. Back and forth between station six and seven. So this proves that all of the ports have bi-directional communications in them and they all work properly. That way you know that, like I say, you put a label on your processor, put it on the shelf in your box and you know that that thing is good. So if we go over here to the message function and hopefully we can get in here. So in this particular case, this is, and you always label everything, So, this is writing to Station 6, which is the guy up top. We're in the Station 7 program, and we're using port 1B, which is normally used as a remote I.O. port, but it's set up for uh, doing data highway. And we take these two switches, turn on these two N7 bits, and those two N7 bits, when you look in the... In the uh, message block instruction get up there you there we go we're writing our n7 colon 7 one word so that's 0 through 15 into n7 colon 7 station 10 which is what the bottom port is set up to be and it's a local communication as it communicates and we just close that and go back over here. You will see on this side, enable and done. If you've got an error, it will tell you, give you an error code in your setup screen and tell you what it is and you it either says it or you have to look it up and find it out. Generally, it's nobody else's home on the other end. Maybe a setting wrong, a cable broke, whatever. So that way we've proved that all of our COM ports are good on all of on these processors. It takes longer to write the program. The uh, 11 rungs in each one than it does to actually do the testing. So there you go. Um, hopefully that's exp that explains what you need. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is going to be how to use the RS-232 COM port. Let's go back out here. There we go. And uh, here's my cable. It's one, one of the cables I've got. And I'll show you how to connect to the processor using a USB to serial converter. I'll get out my old laptop and we'll do that. Thanks a lot. Come back often and uh, subscribe if you'd like. Thank you.